What's going on with all my money motivated stars? Now, this is gonna be another important video, you know what I mean? I guess I'm just having to leave the world behind saga going on because, like I said, this is where the universe is leading me, you know what I mean? When it comes down to it, these are things that really need to be talked about. So, um, like I have, I have conversations like this on the daily, whether I believe it or not, you know what I mean? Whether I'm going to the grocery store, I didn't met people in there who's conscious of what's going on if they wasn't conscious i didn't let them know because we didn't build such a a good rapport with each other just somebody i met in going in the grocery store you know what i'm saying going different places you know what i mean because the energy matches the energy that i'm giving out so i have conversations conscious conversations all the daily i don't have a conversation that's really about nothing just being 100 you can't find nobody who i talk to and we don't have meaningful conversations but there's neither here nor there right now. I'll just try to give y'all a little introduction of why I'm constantly coming back with certain videos because I have these conversations. So I was talking to my sister this morning and we was talking about, you know what I'm saying? The movie I've been talking about for the last couple of days and we was talking about, but it's gonna be different. I always catch y'all with some different stuff, you know? So we was basically talking about, you know what I'm saying? The grid shut down, like whenever they shut down everything, which is coming, you know what I mean? So. I I want to be the person who probably can give somebody really an estimate on when it's going to happen or a prediction on when it's going to happen because of all the information and resources and all the stuff that I'm seeing. It's coming back to me, you know what I mean? And giving me a vision on what I need to say and what I need not to say, you know what I mean? So when it comes down to it, a lot of this stuff that they're already implementing, like I said, like the Tesla stuff, like the recalls and all that, but... When it comes down to like shutting down the internet and shutting down everything, it's gonna really be a while. I know, I know it. Kind, they kind of putting out this information now. You know what I'm saying to preparing people and just let you know. You know what I mean. But they always put stuff like ten years ahead before they actually really do the most powerful thing. Cause that's a powerful thing to do to shut down the whole grid. Like this is gonna be a while before it happens. Because and this is the reason. You know what I mean. I'm I'm predicting like. And this is not a vision or what none, none of that because I would have told y'all it would be more accurate. This is just based off conclusions I came to. I'm thinking in the next seven to ten years, you know what I mean? I'm gonna say about 2035. And this is why I came up with that assumption. This is not just oh, I meditate. No, I came up with that assumption because, like I said, me and my sister was talking on the phone and she was letting me know, you know. Yeah, in a couple of years, they they gonna ban basically gas gasoline cars. You know what I mean. So me doing further, me typing in stuff and doing further research. You know what I mean. Like I, I can put the link in the description about the news clip. It came out a year ago. You know, it was talking about California. You know what I mean. And really, basically, America gonna ban gasoline cars. Like in, by twenty thirty, you're not gonna be able to purchase a car that's fueled on gasoline everything's gonna be electronic you know what i mean so i was basically telling her that's when everything that's when they gonna shut everything down not when they implement all the electric cars when they make everything electric you know what i mean so let me break that down they're not gonna be able to make their plan so effective unless everything is electronic because they need people 100 percent helpless so when it comes down to it they gonna need all the cars to be electric because they ain't gonna want you to get around. They gonna need everything to be electric. Like, you know what I'm saying? See how they got you paying <laughs> with your food, Apple Pay. You know what I mean? They didn't put everything that you need inside these phones. That's why people are gonna go crazy when they shut down these phones. Because when I was growing up, I walked to the bus stop with a CD player in my hand. We had different devices for different things we wanted to do. Okay, let me put it down like this. We had a CD player for our music, then it turned to MP3 players. We had a phone for communication, you know what I mean, and text messages. So there's this two things right there. CD music, communication. Now we got the audio book, so we don't even need a hard copy of a book no more, you know what I mean? So they can shut down your learning if they wanted to. So, okay, let's go four. Pictures. When I was growing up, we didn't have camera phones. We had Kodak, you know what I mean? Like real cameras, you know what I mean? The black one, as soon as you take the picture, it come out, you know what I mean? Instant, 
instant I forgot what Polaroid, I think that was called Polaroid. You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, and yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. But it's like four different things that they didn't put inside of your inside of one device. You know what I mean? So they making you need everything. Like I said, you even pay for your food with this shit now. So they didn't put the wallet, your money, your physical money, and put it in your phone. They're making you so reliable on your phone. And so when you don't have it, a lot of people are gonna lose their mind because this is their mind. You know what I mean? Autocorrect. It teaches you how to spell. You know what I'm saying? It got a translator. If you wanna talk to somebody in another language, you can put up to their mouth what they're saying in their language and they'll decode it in English. So that's why I'm saying a lot of people are gonna go crazy, but they're not gonna implement these, they're not gonna implement the worldwide shutdown until everything is into place. They constantly showing us these movies, playing the, playing the chess pieces, putting this right here, putting this right here, you know what I mean? They constantly moving, but they showing us the chess pieces. It's just up to the person to know if they're actually in the game or not. A lot of people don't even know that there's chess being played. You know what I mean? Like I said, that's why they're keeping us with the distraction of these celebrities. A lot of these celebrities have done a lot of drastic things, a lot of, uh, pedophilia when it comes down to all this stuff all, then all of them have done it the a-list you know what i'm saying so they're going to slowly come out with the rapists and uh the people you know what i'm saying who money laundering like who kidnap kids who drink the adrenochrome they're going to constantly come out with this stuff acting like they don't know oh this person is so bad will smith jada they're gonna it's gonna, it's gonna be most celebrities to keep you distracted from what I'm telling you and what they're telling you because I'm not telling you nothing that they're not telling you, but it's just y'all whether listen to a person like me because I'm an average citizen, you know what I mean? What they would call an average citizen in America. I'm not somebody on news, so it don't come off as boring and oh, what the hell they're talking about, you know what I mean? It come out like, nigga, I'm standing right beside you. You wanna see what they doing, you hear me? Get prepared. So when it comes down to it, man, I would advise everybody to keep they 1997 Lincoln. If you still got it, keep it and keep it in best condition. Like this, is what you do, man. You hear me? You gotta play it like how they playing it. Get, yeah, get you a 22. You know what I'm saying? Car to get around, electric car to get around. You know, make sure it's the best electric car. But keep you at least two vehicles. You can get an old Bronco, or old GMC. Keep them joints intact, man. Make sure everything is good on them just because this is what they're gonna do. Cause they got they got they got some for the they got some for the smart people too. They're gonna be like, okay, yes. Be, we know the so-called rebels are gonna keep their cars. You know what I mean? Only people gonna turn their cars in or just sell their cars for the cheap and be like, fuck it, it's the sheep. The ones who ain't really you know what I'm saying aware of what's going on. So when it comes down to it, keep those cars in good condition because what they they doing it right now. There's cars I used to have that they're no longer making parts for so when your toyota motor go out and you don't have another toyota motor it don't matter if you got a gasoline car if you cannot repair that toyota you're going to have to conform and be nothing but electric with them so make sure you keep you some extra parts to that car that you have you know what i mean make sure you have a good car like a honda or a toyota toyota you know what i mean or a gmc or a buick you know what i mean because that's what they're doing now they're trying to make it so we couldn't even fix the cars if we wanted to. Cause they start, uh, we don't even make that part no more. They only this it was a limited edition car. They, we don't make that no more. You know what I mean? This is how they're trying to have you, man. They're trying to have you so dependent on this electronic stuff, on these electronic devices. Have your mind wrapped up in there. That's why when you think about something, it pops up. Because we we're on the phone too long. We didn't merge whether you want to believe it or not. You have already, if you see that, if you think about something and you see it on your phone, that means you have merged your consciousness with this phone. Am I guilty of this? Hell yeah. I, that's why I started, I, I started taking breaks from this phone because when I started noticing that, I was like, we don't need the Neuralink. We don't need all these chips and stuff. If we're so focused on this phone, we're giving all, and it's happening because we're giving all our energy to this phone. If you look right now, the average person who's watching this video, go to your iPhone or how you do it on your Android and look and see, at the end of the day or yesterday, it's a report you can go to on your phone to see how long you was on your phone. I bet by the end of the day, everybody who's down there in America, I bet it says 14 to 15 hours, more than half the day. I guarantee you. Check it out. If you really think, oh, I ain't been on the phone that long. Yes, you have. 
That's why your consciousness is linked to this. Why every time you think about some certain things, an ad for it pops up, a commercial for it pops up. You know what I mean? You're spending too much time on this. Whatever, you, this is how powerful we are. We, whatever we give our energy to must manifest because our thoughts manifest our reality. So if we think in our reality, if our reality is not out here and it's in here in this little bubble right here, that's where it's going to show up at because it's how powerful we are. So people got to realize that, man. Watch your important videos like mine and other people's videos. Share your share the content and do all that. But don't stay on this damn thing too long. Because the impact is going to be more powerful on your psyche when they shut this shit down. Because either one or two things going to happen when they shut this shit down. Which is, is guaranteed going to happen. Some families are going to get closer. They're going to start healing a lot of family trauma. They're going to start communicating with each other more. And they're going to have a blissful time they're gonna remember a time where it was like this and we had more gatherings we had more good times in the home and the other the total opposite gonna happen people are gonna lose their shit their families are gonna get worse some people you might try to start killing their family and start ravaging to other people's houses and doing other stuff because they are losing their sanity when you put your consciousness in this phone and now this phone is destroyed your mind is destroyed because it's what you put your mind in. You gave your mind to a device. That's why when people fall in love and they give their heart and their mind, they buy their soul to another person. Once that person is gone, they need psychiatric help. You know what I mean? Or they they find out they partner cheating, cheating, they end up killing that person. A lot of people are like, oh, okay, I would have just left. I want to kill. I want. Oh, I want to kill myself too. They put their all into that person. So when you put your all into something, when that person is gone or with some, when that person is defective, like a phone is defective and it stopped working, like your partner is defective, it stopped working with your relationship and start cheating on you, you lose it. You're going to either throw that phone and get mad at it because it's not working how you first started when you first bought it. You're going to throw that person when you're mad at it. You're going to kill it because it's not being as faithful as it was when you first got with her. You know what I'm saying? We got to start correlating these things and knowing that these are real things and people can really think like that. Even though I'm not a person that thinks like that, I'm a person that's able to see above the veil and know how people are going to react to different things, even though I might not react that way. That's why a lot of people don't have a broad spectrum on life. They don't understand other people and they're not able to talk like this because they're not able, able to put their self in other people's shoes. I know why people kill other people. I know why people kill babies. I know why people kill, do this. I know why people molest people. But am I a person to do that? No, I'm not a person to do that, but I understand the cycle of life and why people do stuff they do. Why? Because people was harmed. You know what I mean? And people hurt people hurt people. So just because you wouldn't hurt somebody like that because you've been hurt, that don't mean this person right here wouldn't do it, dog. You know what I'm saying? So once you get that understanding of life, you'll be able to fathom and grab certain type of information that's being thrown your way. Some people might, might not be ready for this information. It's cool, you know what I'm saying? But it's being given out. It's up to you what you're going to do with it. So with that being said, man, y'all be blessed on walking that smoke. And make sure y'all hit the like button on this. You know what I'm saying? This is important stuff that I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, man, like I said, y'all be blessed on walking that smoke.